Hey, my gators. Hey, my gators. So your girl is a thrifter. You know, I am a secondhand queen more than like 70% of the stuff in my home furniture is thrifted. <laughs> Or second hand but y'all do y'all remember do y'all remember up oh, do y'all remember when I bought these chairs and I got both of them for $17 together $8.50 per chair do you remember this let me show them to you I don't know what's going on but th these are them remember I put that wood I got some of that um Luan and I cut it to because th there's nothing wrong with the bottom of the chair just like that one over there they are solid wood. When I say these are some big chairs, these are big chairs. $17, guys. $17 for both of these. Excuse. I got the cabinets from Lowe's sitting there. Rugs that <laughs> for the dining room. Just It's just stuff. So, excuse it. Got an Ikea uh, delivery. Got to do a haul. So, I'm trying to get these videos out while I'm in the mood and I look cute, okay? <laughs> Well, I dialed myself up. So these are the chairs and I got these on offer up. I'm debating if I want to strip them and get them to a neutral wood where they'll look more like this or if I want to paint them black. I'm really thinking about painting them black because I'm contemplating doing an accent wall on this. Um, this wall here. I don't know. Talk to me in the comments. Tell me what you think. I'm going to do what I want to do. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm just joking. I'm going to do what I feel I like best after I do some sampling of paints and stuff. But I'm not sure if I want to paint these. And if I do, if I want to strip them or do I want to paint them black? Those are the two options I'm thinking of with the chairs. But these are them. So not too long after I got these, right? I want to say within like a month or a couple. No, it was more than that. It was, it was, it was some months, several months. I found these cushions from Ikea 19. They still have the thing on them because I didn't know what covers I wanted on them. So you're going to see the price. Look at this. And you can see it's kind of tatted. But these were from Ikea. I kept the plastic on them. And these are couch cushion sofas. Couch cushion sofas. <laughs> Sofa cushion. Um sofa cushions basically that's what they are and then i bought these bedding pillows for the backs and let me show you how that looks so these are them and let me show you the cushions in them here's this one they were 19 dollars as is at ikea so apparently somebody ordered them and didn't want them they do not squish we sit people sit on these all the time even though they're not really made up they were perfect look at this y'all look at that perfect for the chairs 19 dollars a piece and they are I'm talking like great quality so that's what that looks like and then later on since I've been here I purchased these queen size bed pillows that do not get flat they're like the ones I did a review of on my bed and Rizzy's bed love them and they look so cute look at what I'm gonna do do y'all see that do y'all see that so I wanted to go with the white and I wasn't sure but what I did was I purchased some white velvet covers for those queen size covers for those but then I purchased some covers for the bottoms and these are supposed to be like leather like but they're supposed to be like a cream tan beigey color so let's get these open and then let's see what they look like on these um chairs guys $17 when I say these bad boys are heavy they are heavy like look for second hand they're not making furniture the same they are heavy and look at how i just made it look and i can always change it i can always change it these do these will never grow out of style this is like a classic traditional type what i mean by that like transitional like it's transitional it, it's not a style you know what i mean like there are styles that come in and out that people like but it's something that doesn't get old that's what I mean and you can always change the cushion you can always paint it stain it it's just so many options and it's solid wood so let's open these and see what these look like now as you know the pillows that go on my couch I was sitting over there that's why they're like that are velvet um white covers let me show you they are velvet white covers and I've had these for some years now and I really like them. They're easy to clean. If it gets stains on them, I put some Folex on them and they're about their business and that's it. And these have been riding for some years. So that's pretty cool. I've had them ever since I lived in New York and that's been about, it's been about 
about five years, four years, about four, four years, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's been about four years since I've been there when I got them. So, so we are going to get into the packaging. And the first thing is, hmm. let's see how they feel. Ooh. Trying to get some thumbnails. Ooh. Okay. Hopefully they'll fit nice and snug. All right. So we have two of those. The ones I'm afraid of because these cushions are thick is the ones in the Amazon packet. Those are from Amazon as well. And I just ordered a queen size pillow cover for those. And then these came in threes and it's supposed to, oh, it's not real dark. I like that. Okay. It's giving like a textured type leather look to it. And they say it's supposed to be easy to wipe off and all that. You see that? Did y'all see that? It's more giving cloth. It said leather like, but no, it's more giving cloth. My stomach is growling because I'm fasting. So let's get one of these on the cushion and see how it looks. Let's, let's see, let's see. This is the company and these are what the cushions are supposed to be. See, these are so thick. I just hope that they fit on there. Let's see. So what they have is when you put them on, I guess you just button it to tighten it however you need to. So hopefully, hopefully it fits. Let's look and see. Let's turn it around. Let's turn it around and see. Let's turn it around and see. Oh, these are, they say they stretch a lot. So let me, let me get that on there for y'all. I'm gonna take, I'm, nope, I'm gonna put it on over this. If it fits, then I'll take the plastic off. Let's see, let's see. Fingers crossed, cause these is real thick. Fingers crossed. Oh, I had got a little nervous, y'all. Oh, this is pretty. Uh, okay. And then I need to pull it. Oh, okay. Look at y'all. This dress is so huge that I got on, but I love the color and it was great for fall. <laughs> I'm, when I say huge, I'm talking like the sleeves are so big. It, yeah, whatever. So all I guess you got to do is button it, which is cool. So nothing can't slip off. And let's see. Oh, I think we're going to keep the... Oh. Oh, yeah, I was upset about that because um, in storage, that happened. But anyways, let's get these on. It is buttoned. Okay, so let's sit in the chair. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. Look at the texture. Like, I don't know if y'all could see it. This is perfect. Okay, I'm taking the plastic off. Let's put the white one on. I kid you not, I cannot zip that. It's one of them sensitive zippers where the side keeps going in the track as you zip it. And literally, I had y'all on pause for about five minutes trying to get that zipper to zip. So that's what it looks like. Let's get closer. This is what it looks like. I think it's cute. I think if this is black, it's gonna be really nice. And I like the two-tone, yeah. I think when it's zipped it'll look better but for right now that's what it looks like yeah so yep and I'm gonna take the plastic off of these so that way when people sit down they're not sounding crunchy like grandma's uh old couch <laughs> I mean grandma new couch with the old uh plastic on it so I'm gonna get the other one on this one we're gonna do this one without the plastic since we know that they fit there's no need oh let me get some scissors Lord, let me show you the other good thing about these. These are zip, they zip off. So that's another good thing. So the cushion inside is really protected by this cover as well. All right, that one is on. And I got to change this one because I put it on wrong. I put it with this line here and it should be the other way around like this where it's just smooth. 
So I gotta change it. Okay, I fixed it. No more crunchiness. Oh, this is so plush and nice. All right, so these pillowcases suck. I don't like the zippers. I can't zip them. They keep getting stuck. It's ridiculous. So I seen some textured ones I wanted. I'm gonna get those, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will link the pillow covers and the, cause some people need to redo their couches. I've seen a lot of people on Amazon redo their couches. Like if something gets so messy or whatever, they got all colors, all types, and they were very inexpensive, not sponsored. I'll link the, um, both of these pillow covers. So total, total I spent a hundred dollars. Probably a little over less than 110 for both chairs and the cushions and everything needed to make them look like nice chairs. So in total, that's what I spent. That's not bad for two solid wood chairs. It's hard to find one solid wood chair for even half the price being $100. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, talk to me in the comments. I talk back and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later Gators.